Our nation's capital now where lawmakers are preparing for what could be another contentious day of hearings tomorrow in the impeachment inquiry. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell is here to preview what we can expect tomorrow. Matthew. Well, Aaron, the biggest thing we learned on Wednesday was that a witness says he heard the president talking about the investigation into the Bidens. Now that's testimony that was never heard before. The member of my staff asked Ambassador Sondland what President Trump thought about Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland responded that President Trump cares more about the investigations of Biden, which Giuliani was pressing for. Bill Taylor, the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, saying he just learned that a staff member witnessed a call in a restaurant between the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sondland, and President Trump. Trump, according to that aide, had asked about investigations. And I, I take it the import of that is he cares more about that than he does about Ukraine. Yes, sir. Sondland, who donated a million dollars to the president's inauguration, was the one who insisted to Taylor there was no quid pro quo. But after Sondland's sworn testimony to the impeachment committees, he went back and reversed his position, admitting he told a top Ukrainian official resumption of U.S. aid would likely not occur until Ukraine provided the public anti-corruption statement that we had been discussing for many weeks. Quinnipiac constitutional law professor William Dunlap says, if true, this spells trouble for Trump. It would be extremely difficult and extremely dubious to impeach a president because people working for him had done something. But if he's actually involved, that really changes the story. But this is how Republicans are spinning it. Kellyanne Conway says what the staffer says he heard shouldn't matter. You're telling us what somebody else said, what somebody else overheard. But he'll be asked, how close were you to the phone? What do you Have you ever heard the president's voice on a phone before? Tomorrow, we'll hear from former ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch. She has said that she was told by a senior Ukrainian official to, quote, watch her back after it became clear Rudy Giuliani and his associates were targeting her in what she called a concerted campaign. And some of those who have heard directly from the president on Ukraine are refusing to answer questions. Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney, who admitted to a quid pro quo before walking it back, and former National Security Advisor John Bolton, they have both rejected the Democrats' requests. Again, you can watch all of this unfold tomorrow, live here on Channel 3 Eyewitness News.